Leader of the New Democratic Party, the Honorable Anim Eustace, is calling for a serious overhaul of this country's missions abroad. The call was repeated yesterday following an article that appeared in the Caribbean 360 on Sunday, in which the Canadian government announced that they will be cracking down on citizenship fraud as concerns heighten over the recall of former St. Vincent and the Grenadines Deputy Consul General in New York, Edson Augustus. Mr. Eustace pointed out that Mr. Augustus's recall is not something to be laughed away but a serious issue that will continue to affect Vincentians at home and in the diaspora, as is happening now with the Canadian government. During the days and weeks following Augustus's dismissal, the opposition party reinforced that his actions will amount to restrictions being placed on St. Vincent and the Grenadines in other parts of the world. Mr. Eustace stated that the missions abroad should also place more focus on attracting trade and investment into SVG and not confine themselves only with consul matters. The parliamentary representative of North Leeward, the Honorable Patel Matthews, called upon the authorities yesterday to launch an immediate investigation into the circumstances surrounding the death of one of his constituents, Sylvia Thomas. Last Friday, members of the Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Force conducted a search of Thomas's house when she collapsed and had to seek medical attention at the Chateaubelair Hospital. She died the following day at the Milton Cate Memorial Hospital. Matthews said the mother of two did not receive any assistance from members of the force when she collapsed and the neglig negligence shown on the part of the police officers present might have contributed to Thomas's demise, hence his call for a full investigation into the matter. Law enforcement officials were expected to meet yesterday to discuss the circumstances surrounding the death of Thomas. The search was conducted on Thomas's home for illegal weapons. A wide range of activities is scheduled to take place during March to observe the annual National Heroes and Heritage Month. Chief Cultural Officer Anthony Tibbles said this year's activities will be held under the theme Preserving Our Heritage with Pride. NBC's Love Boogie was labeled the starting act and Mr. Tibbles said the grand days will follow this for the Preliminary Schools Performing Arts Festival on Monday, March 10th and Tuesday, March 11th at the Peace Memorial Hall commencing 9 a.m. on both days. One of the major highlights, according to Tibbles, will be the activities on March 14th, National Heroes Day. A number of traffic-related issues were being addressed as the Royal SVG Police Force hosted their Police on the Beat program. During the program, Sergeant Henry Providence of the Traffic Department said a number of persons throughout the state are non-compliant with the seatbelt regulations that were implemented back in 2006. He said persons who fail to wear their seatbelts in both private and public service vehicles are in breach of the regulations. Sergeant Henry is urging the police in the out districts to make a more concerted effort to ensure that persons wear their seatbelts seatbelts. CARICOM heads of government will address a range of issues when they attend the 25th intersessional meeting here next week. The meeting will focus on areas such as regional economy, climate change and disaster preparedness, as well as crime reparations and med medicinal marijuana. The heads of government meeting takes place next Monday and Tuesday at the Bookament Bay Resort. Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonsalves will chair that meeting. That's the local news coming up, the regional news and more.